Hello, this is Bern, and if you're a smart and successful woman, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you might be pushing away compatible men without even knowing it. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. A big complaint that I get from women all around the world is that they don't seem to be finding these incredible specimens of men that I'm describing in some of my videos. They seem to feel like the world is rigged against them and that no matter how hard they try, that the guy is just not out there. And I'm here to share with you that although that might be the feeling you're experiencing, it's simply not true. And what I want to share with you throughout this video is that there's things you're unconsciously doing, seven things at least, that might be unconsciously pushing him further away than you can imagine. First one is chasing the honeymoon high. And that is this fictitious idea that we've been embedded with, and I'm not saying it's your fault, from the moment you were born and were watching Disney princess movies, that the moment you connect and lock eyes with your prince, you should know he's the one, the oceans will part, the angels will sing, and you will just know it in your God and your heart, and you'll go back to your ho home and say, Mom, I found my husband. And she'll say, how do you know? And you'll say, I just know. <laughs> Even though that's an amazing mystical experience you could have, it's more likely than not not gonna happen that way. And if you're intent on knowing super early on that he's the one, or feeling that the chemistry needs to develop so soon, you're leaving so many guys on the table. And here's what I mean. I'm never advocating for you to connect to a guy that on paper sounds great, but doesn't make you feel excited or happy or maybe butterflies in your stomach. But what I'm saying is that if you're expecting for the butterflies to develop from second number one, you might be doing yourself a disservice because it's possible for chemistry to grow through time. And if you are more open and say, hey, I'm gonna give this more time. I'm gonna connect with them. I feel something, but not necessarily heart explosions. But if I second date, third date, I start feeling more, then I'll continue seeing him. If I feel the same or less, then I can stop. Because there's gonna be many guys that like a, unlike a firecracker that bursts quickly into an explosion, but then there's no flame left, are gonna be more like a candle, that the more you connect with them, the more it will glow and the longer it will last. Before I go on to explain how you might be pushing guys away, my next six steps, I want to invite you to click the first link on the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. If you enter your name and email, you can start watching my free masterclass right away. And what this will do for you is it will show you how you can go well beyond the contents of this video and implement the concepts, not just with your head, but with your heart and through actions where it really counts. Second way you might be pushing guys away is by not making the first move. If you're a confident woman, if you're a beautiful woman, if you're someone who is showing up with a good presence in the world, then you might unconsciously expect for guys to just show up and connect with you. And you might be asking yourself, why are the guys that I want to approach me not approaching me? And the reason might be because you're not approachable. Because you might not giving them enough signals where they feel it's safe to approach you because they feel they might be rejected because the energy you're putting out there is one of maybe not interested or I'm taken or maybe I'm too busy with my cell phone or maybe I'm not happy here. There's that radar that he's gonna feel that will allow him to see if you're approachable. Now, the first move means that you're going to have eye contact with him, that you're going to smile, that you're going to make it easier for him to understand that he doesn't need to be afraid of you and that if he approaches you, you might connect with them and you might hit it off. Third reason you might be pushing guys away is by not expressing your need for him. Many of you have become fiercely independent, which let me tell you something, I'm proud of you because it's something that's far more powerful than being codependent with someone or helpless. But when men feel like there's no room in your heart for them to add value, like you really don't need them, like you can do everything on your own, then what happens is you're not taking advantage of the next step beyond fierce independence, which is heartfelt interdependence. So if you want to go to the next step, whereas where you don't have to prove yourself all the time and where one plus one equals maybe a hundred, right? Because think about it. If you're thinking right now that your best life can be lived without a man, then I encourage you to go out and not connect with men because the things you'll have to go through and the challenges and the fears and also the way you have to show up and the compromises and the sacrifice you'll have to do in a relationship is too big. But if you understand in your heart of hearts the way I do, that my best life 
regardless of how awesome I am, how much I enjoy my time alone, how many things I can do on my own, will be far superior with the right partner, then it's within your expressiveness to let him know how valuable he is to your life, to share with him the things that make you feel you and human, not just the great things, but also the vulnerable things that make you feel scared or maybe make you feel insecure so that he understands who you are, he understands that you're a human being instead of a robot and has much more of that ability to step up and serve you. The fourth way you might be pushing awesome men away is by having unrealistic slash unhealthy expectations. I'll share with you a few. The first one would be frequency of connection. If you have an anxious attachment style and you subconsciously expect for the guy to call you all the time or to reply really quickly and you start becoming needy when he doesn't, or you start imposing this subconscious rule that he should be stepping up faster than he's ready for, then the more likely scenario, even if he's a great guy, is that he's gonna feel like there's something heavy taking place and he can't step up. So he might say, you know what, I'm out. So one of the best things you can do is to make sure that at the beginning of the relationship, the frequency of communication will not be as heavy as when you've gotten a chance to connect with them and move things along. Your second unrealistic expectation might be that feeling of exclusivity, meaning that you feel like because you really feel attracted to him that he shouldn't date other women or that you should stop dating other guys because you really like him. And my biggest recommendation is that until he's your boyfriend, that you still continue dating other men because at any point, you still don't know this guy, he could disappear, he could ghost you, that might make you feel really uncomfortable. If you have other options, you will continue, even if it is slightly painful, but if you have only one option and you're expecting for him to find you, his girlfriend, even if you don't know him, then you might suffer more than you need. The third way you might be having unrealistic expectations is by hoping that he reads your mind. Sometimes you have ideas and needs, and just like the previous one where you need to be vulnerable, you need to be expressive, and you need to share what your thoughts are and your needs are, the worst thing you can do and this is a one way that I found women really push awesome guys away is when you have something that you need and you're not clear on how to express it, but you still reserve the right to feel pissed if he doesn't do it, then when he doesn't do it, you become passive aggressive. And then he doesn't understand what's ha happening. He thinks you're playing games. And then if he's a conscious guy, if he's someone who really has his stuff worked out, he doesn't want drama in his life. He's going to say, you know what? I'm out. Number five way that you might be pushing awesome men away is by staying in your lane. And here's an example I'm going to share with you about that. Imagine that you're in a parking lot and it's really dark and you lose your keys. And all of a sudden you need your keys because otherwise you can't get into your car. But because it's so dark, you notice that a hundred yards for when you maybe lost your keys, there's a light, there's a lamp, there's a lamppost. <laughs> and you go underneath that and you start searching for the keys because there's light and it's comfortable instead of where you drop your keys. Now this might be exactly what you're doing. You might be going with your girlfriends, uh, going to the same gym that you've been going to for the last 20 years, uh, doing the same things, attempting to connect to new men and it's just not happening. And what you have to do is get uncomfortable enough, get out of your lane and do things that are uncomfortable, new events, new people, new opportunities, new connections, things that make you feel like you're really striving and stretching yourself. Stop looking for your keys where it's comfortable. Start looking for your keys where you drop them. Sarah Blakely, one of the first women billionaires on this planet, if not the first one, who created a brand called Spanx. When she was growing up, her dad used to sit her down every night at dinner and ask her the question, how did you fail today? Not how did you succeed, but how did you fail today? And if she didn't have an answer, she hadn't tried anything new. She hadn't ventured out of her comfort zone and she was staying too safe. So I'm gonna ask you to ask yourself this question, how have I failed in my attempt to connect to new men? If your answer is I haven't, it's probably because you're not trying something that's significant enough that might get you the result. Sixth way that you might be pushing awesome men away is by not evaluating your own beliefs. Imagine that you have some beliefs about men, about the way they show up, about the way they cheat, about the way they treat women, and you haven't really evaluated them, and they're playing in the background of your mind constantly. This is the equivalent of you going to the coolest store, buying a pair of Chanel sunglasses, dipping them in dog shit, literally, and putting them back on, and then going around your city and thinking that everything you see is brown and it smells kind of funky <laughs> or bad. And it's not that it's brown, it's the lenses through which you're looking at things sometimes make you see things that don't really exist. 
So one of the ways a lot of women push awesome men away is by having preconceptions about men that make them act the same way with every man, make them treat every man the same way, make them distrust men the same way. And when guys who have their stuff worked out connect with someone who feels that way, who can't trust them because she can't trust herself, then they're not up for it and they may not be interested enough to continue pursuing you or even from a distance. If they, they get that vibe from you, they may not have what it takes to connect with you and pursue you and, and start a conversation even. Last way you might be pushing men away, of the ones that I'm describing, there's probably many more, but there's a seventh one for today, is having a strong focus of entitlement where you're asking yourself, what am I not getting constantly versus what am I not giving? Because here's the truth. If you are, like your friends say, such a great catch, so beautiful, so awesome, so great, and no men of the right caliber are approaching you, the question you're, you're asking yourself right now might be, why is the world rigged against me? Or why is this all unfair? Or why are there no great men around me? Where the better question would be, what is the one thing, maybe a small thing, maybe it doesn't have to be big, that I could do right now that opens me up to more men, that opens my heart out to create stronger connection, stronger pursuit, stronger magnetism. What is my energy like these days? What, is, what are my beliefs like? What are my actions like? And if you start focusing on what you're not giving and offering the world versus what you're not getting, you might do a 180 in a short amount of time. Hope this is helpful and useful to you. If it is, all I want you to do right now, if you want to learn how you can apply the concepts that I'm sharing with you right now beyond the intellect <laughs> uh, and, and really hone in on how you can get the result that you want, then first link in the description will get you to my free training. If you enjoyed this video, click like or thumbs up, share with me in a comment what you found most beneficial, and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes. Last but not least, if you're still listening to me right now and you think this might be helpful and you're not sure how to put it into action, you've been watching videos, you've been doing shamanic cleanses, you've been doing the law of attraction, you've been praying, and nothing seems to be working, but you have not lost faith that you can find what you want, then I might be able to help you. Second link will allow you to connect with me and figure out if we're fit to work together. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.